And good evening. I'm political editor Dennis Welch. This is Politics Unplugged, and this week we welcome back former governor, Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, to the show. And Governor Brewer, I want to thank you very much for being here today. No real big agenda here today. Just I think it's always fun to check in with you. Thank you. Uh, you know, get your thoughts on the state of Arizona politics these days. Uh, you know, the great swing state of Arizona and whatnot. And I just want to start with a basic question. I know that, you know, your entire career, you've been very much pro-life. There's no question on, about Absolutely, that. Yeah. This week, the big, the big news has been, uh, you know, people have filed an initiative to enshrine uh, their, what they say, their rights to access in the state constitution. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Should people vote for this or what? Well, I'm, I'm a pro-life candidate, mm -hmm. have always been pro-life. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't believe uh, or support abortion just on demand. I think it's mm -hmm. horrible and terrible. Mm -hmm. I think that um, we need to preserve life, and that's the way I was raised, and that's the way that I have raised and lived my life. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I do have exceptions. I believe that uh, we can, uh, and the exception is uh, uh, to save the life of the mother yeah. and incest. And I think that, um, that that's good enough, but I don't believe that uh, abortion should be on demand. So, um, you know, people who are supporting uh, the running this initiative say they're worried because there is still a court challenge uh, case out there that could bring back a territorial abortion ban. It's a near total ban. It does not include the exce exceptions you want. Right. Um, doesn't sound like you would support that either. Well, no, I think there ought to be, you know, we need to save the life of the mother. And mm -hmm. I, I don't believe that somebody that's been raped mm -hmm. uh, um, should not be, be held to having a baby. Yeah, you know, I just, I, I oppose that. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is such an emotional issue for everybody, I, you know, and it's been going on for so long. I wish that we could get some kind of satisfaction of getting something leveled out. But, you know, I just don't believe that babies ought to be murdered. That's, <laughs> I, I mean, I get that. I, I, I do get that. I mean, yeah. uh, but this 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 uh, initiative is out there. It would re kind of revert. To, it, it appears to revert back to Roe versus Wade. It would protect access to abortion up to 22 to 24 weeks. Um, do you think that would be better uh, than the territorial near total ban with without the exceptions? I do. Yeah. I do. Absolutely. Okay. 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 And then uh, what do you think about the current state law, though? Do you think that is sufficient at 15 weeks? Because remember, they passed that second bill, that second law, uh, protecting access up to 15 weeks, but not after. Well, you know, I would probably uh, uh, support that and have supported it. So, yes. Okay. All right, and uh, let's, let's, let's talk to, let's get your general thoughts. Um, you know, we've got a, a, a governor, a new governor, just finished up their first year, their first legislative session. Want to get your thoughts on the job that uh, uh, Katie Hobbs, Governor Hobbs, has done. Obviously, she's a Democrat, you're a Republican. So uh, just get some general thoughts on that. Well, you know, being governor is not an easy job. There's all kinds of moving parts and things going on and people with you and people against you and fighting and scurrying mm -hmm. around. And it's a hard, tough job. So I always wish Katie Hobbs the best. And I, I, I sat down with her and mm -hmm. I spoke with her and I wanted her to be successful. Do I agree with everything that she yeah. has done? No. But, uh, you know, she's navigating. Uh, she's finally kind of getting herself um, getting get some wind in her wings, I think, hopefully, yeah. uh, because we, as the state of Arizona, need a leader. We need a strong leader, and um, but I hope that um, she is successful. Um, I say that with kind of a hold back. <laughs> some of the things I don't want her to be successful in, but I want her to be uh, for the state of Arizona. Yeah, yeah, and. Is there any party that can kind of sympathize with her? Because she is coming in with a legislator. Obviously, different party controls the legislature, uh, you know, and some of them are just virulently opposed to her. Well, it was you had really a similar easy. situation. I was, and I was with my own party. With your so own party. It's there, just a contentious operation. Yeah. The ninth floor. Because I'm old enough to remember there was a Republican lawmaker. I think it was your first uh, speech to the joint, to the joint chambers. Yes. Just got up and walked out on right. your speech. Right. Is, so do you sympathize with the governor with dealing with that kind of a, a legislative hostility? Well, you have to be tough. You have to be tough. You have to know what you're going to try to enact, and you got to plant your flag, and you got to mm -hmm. defend it. And I think that um, you move on. But I think that it has been extremely um, uh, contentious mm -hmm. between uh, Governor Hobbs and the legislature, unnecessarily so. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is, we were talking just briefly before the show, and you said you had some opinions on this. You know how important it is to appoint good people to oh. run these big agencies like Department of Health, Environmental Department, uh, you know, uh, this. 
Republicans have, you know, either been slow walking these uh, these nominations for her opponents, or have been getting in the way of getting these appointees picked. She hasn't gotten many of them through uh, the committee or for, through Senate confirmation. Talk to me about that. Do you think that is that's good for the state? No, I don't think it's good for the state. I think as governor, you are duly elected. People put you in place, and then you have to put the people that you believe that are going to serve you mm -hmm. uh, and your philosophy. Um, the best, mm -hmm. and that it's kind of perfunctory for the legislature to approve it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the buck stops on the ninth floor. So you appoint the directors, mm -hmm. you appoint your people, and then if they fail, then you're the one that's hold, held accountable, not them. They move on and find another job. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, yes, I, I think that they have had not acting fairly with that respect. Oh, yeah, and, and I also, you know, it was really interesting to to watch, and, and, and you've got a unique perspective on this. First, a little background. Before you, uh, uh, you, you know, you left the legislature and then you came back as Secretary of State. In between that time, you were down um, at the county as the county board of supervisor. And you've got maybe an interesting perspective on this. You know, it seems like one of the biggest fights over this, this past session was Prop 400. That's a half-cent sales tax for transportation. That was an incredible fight just to get that done. What did you think watching, watching that play out? Because you ha you've had firsthand knowledge of what that, what that tax, what that revenue could do for the county. Well, I think it's really super, super important. And we're growing, and we need to be able to access those dollars and to get that transportation money out there so we can build as we expand and expand and expand. And to just be throwing roadblocks into our growth and our planning is outrageous. I, I, it's wrong. I was chairman of, the, of MAG for a while mm -hmm. when I was on the County Board of Supervisors. And you know, we did a lot of planning, and you have to know that that money's coming in, and how and how, how you're going to do mm -hmm. it and handle it, and to put the skids on it like that was pretty self-serving. All right, and uh, you know, um, also definitely want to get your thoughts on state of Arizona politics, particularly Republican politics. Um, get your thoughts on you know we're starting to hear that the former gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake may be thinking about running for the state senate, running for statewide again. Do you like that this idea? Do you, do, would you support her? <laughs> You know, Carrie Lake and I have been friends for a long, long time, and I uh, was a little disappointed in the way she's handled herself in regards to the election. So, you know, I feel that everybody has a right to run. Uh, would I support her? I don't, I don't think that I would today. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't support her when she ran for governor. I supported somebody else, and uh, she kind of kind of dis, di, dissed me. <laughs> well, because you've got an interesting perspective there. You're a former Secretary of State. Right. You understand. I do understand elections, and I understand what's done, and I understand the people that are working the elections, and they're highly qualified uh, people with mm -hmm. great integrity. They got a rules manual, and they follow it to the T. Mm -hmm. And to uh, hear and see what has gone on about all the stolen election, to me, is a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> And there's no proof. There's no proof. Uh, and, um, I, and before we leave, last question, I do want to say we're heading into a presidential election cycle. Looks like Donald Trump, uh, big leads in the national polls. Do you, do you do you like that? Do you, would you, or would you like to see somebody else win the nomination? For I think the, the political Party? scene on the national level is absolutely, and here locally too, is just totally exhausting. I think people want to talk about the policies. I would think they want to talk about the important things, and not all of this rhetoric. So I'm sitting back watching all of this and hoping that we get somebody elected to the president of the United States that does the job uh, for our country. <laughs> all right, Governor. Thanks for stopping by here. It's always great checking Thank in with you, you and we'll see you next time. And up next.